Trinity. I'd like to turn today to 1 Corinthians 12. Um, one of the poems I enjoy is Langston Hughes' classic poem, Theme for English B. He wrote it early in his career. Uh, it was He wrote it for a class assignment. And in it, he has this idea that though he and the instructor are so different from each other, genuinely different from one another, have totally different experiences, that they belong to each other. And I, I, can't, I can't read it without thinking, well, this idea doesn't just come from Hughes, and it doesn't just come from the American um, melting pot uh, like Hughes talks about in the poem. No, this idea is much older than that. And we see it in 1 Corinthians 12 um, with the notion of the, the body of Christ being a body, that there are these pieces that belong to one another. Uh, 1 Corinthians 12, 14 says, For the body does not consist of one member, but of many. If the foot should say, Because I am not a hand, I do not belong to the body, that would not make it any less a part of the body. And if the ear should say, Because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body, that would not make it any less a part of the body. And if the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would be the sense of smell? But as it is, God arranged the members in the body, each one of them as he chose. If all were a single member, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, and yet one body. Which is something illustrated by Hughes, that we have different gifts, we have different experiences, we have different backgrounds, we come from different ethnicities and nations, um, but uh, whether we would choose it or not, we belong to one another and have a lot to learn from one another. Uh, Hughes says this theme for English B. The instructor said, go home and write a page tonight and let that page come out of you. Then it will be true. I wonder if it's that simple. I am 22, colored, born in Winston-Salem. I went to school there, then Durham, then here, to this college on the hill above Harlem. I am the only colored student in my class. The steps from the hill lead down into Harlem, through a park, then I cross St. Nicholas, 8th Avenue, 7th, and I come to the Y, the Harlem Branch Y, where I take the elevator up to my room, sit down, and write this page. It's not easy to know what is true for you or me, at 22, my age, but I guess I'm what I feel and see and hear. Harlem, I hear you. Hear you, hear me. We too, you, me, talk on this page. I hear New York too. Me, who? Well, I like to sleep, uh, to eat, sleep, drink, and be in love. I like to work, read, learn, and understand life. I like a pipe for a Christmas present, or records, Bessie, Bop, or Bach. I guess being colored doesn't make me not like the same things other folks like who are other races. So will my page be colored that I write? Being me, it will not be white, but it will be a part of you, instructor. You are white, yet a part of me as I am a part of you. That's American. Sometimes, perhaps, you don't want to be a part of me, nor do I often want to be a part of you. But we are. That's true. As I learn from you, I guess you learn from me, although you're older and white and somewhat more free. This is my page for English B.